So this is what you're going to need to make a curly little iridescent rainbow shell in today's hand spun tutorial. So a nice peachy pink base. This is um, Snow Mountain Blending Nylon. Rainbow Fire Star in a mid-tone pastel. A nice complement of bamboo in the same color vein. And then some kettle dyed star bright nylon top. So first we're going to card in the base. Then we're going to add these. So we're going to roll it on nice and slow so it all goes in straight. See how we got a nice little strike going on here? Now we're going to do a vertically stacked layer. See what I mean by vertically stacked? Now we're going to feed this in. Now we're going to feed another horizontal layer in. Another vertical layer in the opposite color order this time. Another side to side layer. And now our holographic silver Angelina. And you can see we've got really beautiful, super dimensional, softly textured, shell like base fiber for little coils and corkscrews. And here's another nice little view of it. I find that using the crisscross stacking allows you to have all that color and dimension. My seed glass bats stripped and ready to spin in order. And now I'm just going to strip these into little slubs for spinning. They're all stripped up, fat in the middle, tapered on the edges, different sizes. So we've got our big fatties over here, our longer ones, skinnier ones and then our proportional small size. I like to use worsted weight acrylic. I get this for $3 for a pound on, in, on uh, Amazon. And then I string all my little beautiful sparkle star beads onto the core ahead of time. And we got our nice little coil with a clean join at the bottom and at the top. Now you just break the fiber and you can thread the bead straight on up. Hard to do one-handed, but we're making it work. And then you just reconnect the fiber right there and keep spinning. And the nice thing about having your bead seamlessly on the core is that when you're knitting you can actually position this wherever you need so that it sits nicely in your fabric. I like to take my yarn off and then backspin my core spin, so to the left, just to take out the excess twist so that it hangs mostly balanced. And here's the finished piece. I think it's super sweet. I love how these came out and all the little stars. I think this is my very favorite one because of how big it is. Come see me at Stephen B at the end of the month.